Hi, Becca C. Smith here, and today I am going to tell you my top two contests I found to be the most helpful. I'm also going to talk about three other contests that I have not entered before, but plan to this year because I've heard really good things about them. I will have all the links to all the contests and their deadlines below. <laughs> the deadlines are important because the longer you wait to enter, the more expensive it gets. So, contests. Do you need to win in order to make a contest help you? No. <laughs> I've never won a contest. <laughs> Winning is great, money, instant signing with manager or agent, but you don't have to win to make a contest help you. Just placing in contests helped me get managers and agents in the past. Think of it as building your resume, especially if you don't have any contacts in the industry like I didn't. Now, I've entered many contests over the years and placed in quite a few, but there are really only three that ever helped me in my career and two are still around and what I'll be focusing on for this video. But the third was a TV pilot contest run by Slamdance. I don't know if anyone remembers this, it was Fox 21. It doesn't exist anymore, which is too bad because it really helped me when I first started out. I got my first pitch meeting because of it, which is an embarrassing story time for a future video. <laughs> but before we get into any of this, let me start by saying contests are subjective. Do not put your worth or judge your talent based on the results. I cannot reiterate this enough. Just like watching a movie or a TV show or reading a book, some people will gush all over them and some people will want to light them on fire. <laughs> it's just human nature. You know, we like what we like. There's nothing we can do about it. And it really just depends on the readers in a contest. And I know that sucks, but it's a fact of life. You just never know what mood or state of mind your reader is going to be in when they open your script. Which is why most contests go by a three judge first round system. So your hopes and dreams don't all fall on one reader. <laughs> Thank God. For me, the number one contest to enter in terms of winning or even placing is Nickel Fellowship. It's run by the Academy, which of course, that alone makes it one that industry professionals take more seriously. And there are up to five winners of the fellowship, which is awesome. Each winner gets $35,000 for one year to write a screenplay. So nothing to sneeze at. The money is nice, <laughs> but it's the contacts you can make that make this my number one pick. I made the semifinals in 2002 and I had managers, agents, and producers contacting me as soon as the list was announced. From there, I actually had two producers reach out to work with me with the actual, to develop the script that I entered. And if you've watched my channel, you'll know that this script was a rom-com based on the curse of the Red Sox that at the time had never won the World Series in, 20, in 100 years or something like that. And my rom-com was about breaking the curse. And during the development of the script, as you all know, the Red Sox freaking won. <laughs> so that was dead. But the producers were amazing and supportive and still are to this day. They're amazing people. But I did sign my first manager through Nichols. It just really jump-started my career back then. It connected me with industry professionals I didn't have access to before I entered. I just didn't know anyone, so it really helped me. And a nice feature of Nichols now is that on their website, they let you know if your script made the first round or not. Now getting into the first round means you got two out of the three readers recommending your script. You need three out of three to move on to the quarters. So looking at this list, it means every single script I entered since 2017 has made the first round. It's frustrating, but also encouraging. And I'm really happy that Nichols lets us see this. It's a relatively new thing and it made me feel so much better since a lot of these scripts I gave up on because they didn't make the quarters. And remember a couple of minutes ago, contests are subjective. Do not put your worth or judge your talent based on the results. I cannot reiterate this enough. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're all guilty of needing outside validation. <laughs> but really what you can learn from these kinds of results is that maybe with a little more work and a little more notes, <laughs> these scripts can possibly place in the future or even win. The only downside of this year is that normally you could enter up to three screenplays, which gave you a variety of your own scripts to pick from and a, a better chance at making it to the next round. But because of the panini and how long it took the readers to get through the first round last year, they're limiting submissions to one script only. So pick your strongest work. I don't even know what I'm gonna pick yet. Okay, but number two is Austin Film Festival. <laughs> What's nice about Austin is you can enter for both TV and features and a bunch of other things actually, podcasts, shorts. Just go to the website and you'll see. It's like a huge list. I've entered in both TV and features and made the quarters in both. Austin has been very good to me. <laughs> and with teleplays, you can enter your own original pilot or a spec script for an existing TV show. I used to only submit spec scripts. That was back when I was trying to be a staff writer. And I did pretty well with those. I made the quarters with a spec for Psych and for Supernatural. And then again, with an original pilot, Threshold. But in the last two years, I made the quarters with my future script, Geraldine. I entered it two years in a row. And I keep making the quarters. I can't make it past the quarters. <laughs> but Austin is another contest that industry professionals respect and actually care about. There are a ton of contests out there, but only a handful that managers and agents know by name or reputation. Austin is one of those contests. And to place multiple times over the years definitely helps build that resume. <laughs> Like anything, name recognition matters, and placing in Austin really helped me get into the doors just by mentioning it. And contests really do help you get representation if that's what you're looking for, especially if you know no one in the industry. The managers and agents I've had in the past all came from placing in contests. Consistency really helps as well. I made the quarters in Austin three years in a row, and then the semifinals, and it's just that TV pilot contest I was telling you about by Slam Dance, <laughs> two years in a row. And that shows that each year with a new script, I consistently placed. I didn't win, but I didn't have to. This showed my manager at the time that I consistently showed my work to strangers and they gave it good marks. It kind of does the work for them. I've been focused on books for the last decade, but now I want to get back into screenwriting. So I'm, I'm entering everything. Okay, well not everything, but the ones that I'm mentioning. <laughs> like I mentioned before, I'm happy I randomly decided to enter my script, Geraldine's Alley into Austin because it did place in the quarters both times. Now, if I place in contest this year with my new scripts, I'll have a history to show a manager for consistency. I can also show them my nickel first rounds for the last six years. So if you've entered nickels in the last 10 years, go to your past entries page and you'll see where your script placed. This info could really help build your resume. So this year I'm calling it the year of placement. <laughs> don't have to win to make these contests worth it. I just have to place. <laughs> it's a good mentality to be in so I can really take advantage of every contest I hopefully place in. There's this deflation that happens when I find out I haven't made it to the next round, but seeing any placement and a collection of placements I think will really help me hopefully break out of that almost toxic thinking. Now, okay, the contests I'm entering that I've never entered before Four. I've only heard wonderful things about these contests, so I thought I'd give them a go. The first one is Tracking Bee. Now, Mickey Fisher, a very successful writer, came in second, but he still ended up getting a TV deal to make Extant with Halle Berry. My husband actually worked on the show as the VFX supervisor and got to know Mickey pretty well. He's seriously one of the most sweetest, humble people I have ever met and coming in second started a very successful career so he did not have to win. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is called The Writer's Lab. This one is for women over the age of 40. So, <laughs> so heck yeah, I'm gonna enter. <laughs> That sounds amazing. It's a four-day workshop, if you win, with members who will help you take your writing to the next level. 
founded by Elizabeth Caden and Nitsa Willan with support from, I don't know, Meryl Streep, Oprah Winfrey, and Nicole Kidman, just to name a few. <laughs> I just love the idea of women supporting women, and especially us women who are past 40. <laughs> and the last contest I'm entering is Page International Screenwriting Awards. I know this is a popular one, which is why I'm entering, but honestly, I don't really know much about it. It's features only, so no TV category. And I know there's a $25,000 grand prize, which would be amazing. <laughs> but according to their website, they've had a slew of successful stories in terms of scripts optioned, writers signed, writers hired, and projects produced. The fact that they have a running tally makes me really excited to try this one out. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! Nichols and Austin have definitely helped me the most personally. But who knows? Maybe a year from now I'll be lucky enough to say that some of these other contests help me out too? I'm so excited. I'm a total sucker for contests. I don't know what it is about entering and waiting and hoping. <laughs> I just love the whole process, even, even the losses. They just inspire me to rework and re-enter. <laughs> but I hope this helps and good luck to you all if you decide to enter any of these. Let me know in the comments if you've entered any contests and how they've worked for you. But thank you so much for joining and I will see you in the next one.